objective is for both of the jammers to try and get out past the blockers of the opposing team first and become lead jammer. That's just a small part of what happens when the women of the Burning River Roller Derby hit the track. It's fast paced and not for those afraid to get rough. We wear helmets, mouth guards, elbow pads, knee pads. So we don't have any protective gear other than that gear. Not only do the players have to know how to skate, they have to have a winning strategy too, even if that means taking their licks to succeed. Since I'm smaller, I have to get like really low and you just have to like eat every hit. You have to go out there and not be afraid of anything. The game comes at you fast, something veterans say takes some time to adjust to. When you're a new skater, everything seems so fast and you think you're reacting quickly. And then you realize, oh, no, oh, no, that was that was not nearly fast enough. So how does this game work? Well, each team starts off with five players on the track, four blockers and a jammer. The jammers start behind the line and must work past the opposing blockers for an initial pass. From then on, each time the jammer laps an opposing blocker, her team scores a point. And don't worry, the officials are there to keep everything fair. So there are area, areas of the body that you can use to hit and areas of the body you can not hit. We're not looking to penalize anybody. We're trying to make sure that everyone's playing fairly and playing safely. And keeping track of all the details are the team's non-skating officials. We are tracking the penalties. We're um, timing the penalties. We're timing the game. We're keeping score. We're keeping lineup. So basically, without us, can't have the game. Just like any other sport, each player has a different story about how they got involved, and most are as unique as the personalities of the players themselves. I went and watched the game. I actually like got a pair of roller skates for Christmas, and I just learned how to roller skate in my kitchen. Uh, I had skated when I was little, but I was never a great skater. I never even got to backward skating, but it was fun. Also unique, their nicknames. Some get theirs from pop culture. Others say it's something picked up from their personality that inspires the pseudonym. Um, it was the closest thing that I could get to swearing and keep it PG. Um, so my friend actually gave it to me because I talk a lot, but I also have a very sensitive stomach. <laughs> So I have a computer science degree and I work in the morgue. It's a double meaning, yeah. Teammates admit the game is demanding and yeah, they still get a little nervous before a bout, but they wouldn't want it any other way. Sarah Shookman, Channel 3 News.